sum of all probabilities must be 1. So that means that the integral from 0 to 1 of k upon 1 minus x all squared has to be 1. I'm going to bring the k in front of the integral sign and if I expand the brackets I get 1 minus 2x plus x squared with respect to x equals 1. So k upon x minus x squared plus x cubed over 3 0 to 1 has to equal 1. So k upon 1 minus 1 plus 1 third equals 1. So 1 third k equals 1, which means that k equals 3. To work out the variance of x, we need the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x all squared. So I'm going to work out the expectation of x squared, and that will be the integral from 0 to 1 of k with x squared times 1 minus x all squared with respect to x. So that's 3 times the integral from 0 to 1 x squared upon 1 minus 2x plus x squared. So 3 upon x squared minus 2x cubed plus x to the 4. So that gives us 3 upon x cubed over 3 minus 2x to the 4 over 4 plus x to the 5 over 5 from 0 to 1. So that's 3 times 1 third minus a half plus 1 fifth, which is 1 tenth. need to work out the expectation of x, and that will be the integral from 0 to 1 of k upon 1 minus x all squared multiplied by x. So that's 3 times the integral from 0 to 1, x minus 2x squared plus x cubed, x squared over 2 minus 2x cubed over 3 plus x to the 4 over 4. So that's 3 upon a half minus 2 thirds plus 1 quarter, which is 1 quarter. That tells us that the variance of x is 1 tenth minus 1 quarter squared, which is 3 eightieths. Probability that x is greater than 0 0.2 will be the integral from 0 0.2 to 1 of 1 minus x all squared. So that gives us 1 minus 1 plus 1 third take away 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 squared plus 0 0.2 cubed all over 3 all multiplied by 3 and that gives us 0 0.512 to 3SF.